In this video, I will derive the internal energy U, Helmholtz free energy A, enthalpy H, Gibbs free energy G, and pressure P, given the partition function. Uh, we learned the internal energy U is N times KBT squared times DLNQ over DT. And for simplicity and consistency, we can rewrite this expression to be nRT times dLnQ over dLnT. And Q is the partition function of the system. Q is the product of the translational, rotational, vibrational, and electronic partition functions. And if you plug in the product into the logarithm, it becomes the sum of the four logarithms, and therefore this total internal energy is the sum of the translational, rotational, vibrational, and electronic components. The entropy of distinguishable particles was proven to be nR times LNQ plus dLNQ over dLNT. For indistinguishable particles, we have to make a correction here. This is because the n factorial permutations of distinguishable particles collapse into only one combination of indistinguishable particles. Therefore, we need to subtract this entropy of distinguishable particles by Kb times the natural logarithm of n factorial, and we have this expression for indistinguishable particles. And then we have the expression of the Helmholtz free energy A. By definition, A equals U minus Ts. So this is U. Uh, this part is Ts, and we combine this two. This term and this term cancel. So the expression of A is nRT times negative LNQ plus the natural logarithm of N and then minus 1. Uh, now we derive the pressure P of the system. Because dA equals negative SDT minus uh, PdV, solely from the definition of A and U and the exact differential form of U, uh, we have delta A over delta V equals negative P when temperature is held constant. So we just plug in the expression of A here. This is the expression of A. And we plug it in here. And then P is equal to nRT times the first derivative of LNQ over the dV. And again, for consistency and simplicity, we multiply both sides by V. And we have PV equals nRT times dLNQ over dLNV. So over here, I changed this to a single variable derivative. So I'm using D here. But really, over here, uh, when you take the first derivative of LNQ with respect to LNV, you have to hold temperature constant. I write this equation in this way, again, for simplicity and convenience. And then H equals U plus PV, so we combine this U here, nRT times dLNQ over dLNT, plus PV, again, PV is nRT times dLNQ over dLNV, and then we combine these two terms, we have nRT times the sum of dLNQ over dLNT, plus dLNQ over dLNV. So you can see the uh, uh, symmetry here, and this is uh, simple and convenient by uh, neglecting uh, the uh, subscripts. But remember, when you take this derivative, you have to hold volume constant. When you take this derivative of LNQ or LNV, you hold temperature constant. Now let's get G. G equals A plus PV, or H minus TS. So G equals NRT times this part that give you A, and this part that will give you the PV, and together, we have the expression of G. And in summary, uh, we have this PV divided by NRT 
equals dl and q over dl and v. All right, so it looks nice. And u over nrt is dl and q over dl and t. h over nrt equals u over nrt plus pv over nrt. And a over nrt is negative ln q plus ln n minus 1. g over nrt is negative ln q plus logarithm of n minus 1 plus d ln q over d ln v. And again, this is the pv term. Now, we will prove pv equals nrt for an ideal gas. This is because for an ideal gas, the translational partition function is a constant times volume. So I'm calling this beta constant because beta is independent of volume. And uh, this is the uh, form, the logarithm form. And PV equals RT equals DLNQ over DLNV. And we plug in this LNQ here. Uh, it's the sum of LNQ translation, LNQ rotation, LNQ vibration, and LNQ electronic. However, the last three terms are independent of volume, and this term is a function of volume, and L and Q trans is simply the sum of these two terms. Again, the second term is considered a constant as it's independent of volume, and therefore we have just D L and V over D L and V. We got one. We proved PV equals NRT for ideal gas using statistical thermodynamics.